Over 1 million nursing students trust Simple Nursing to help them pass nursing school and the NCLEX. So head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube to join them in their success. Tracheostomy care, the number one priority for a new tracheostomy. We're talking immediately after surgery, fresh post-operative. We must, key terms here, check the tightness of the ties and use one finger to fit under the ties. This prevents dislodgement and loss of the airway. So write that down. The number one priority for a new tracheostomy, returning from the operating room. Now the NCLEX focuses on things that will kill the patient and other safety topics primarily. So always focus on things that will kill the patient or cause harm. The worst thing that can happen is accidental dislodgement of this tube, resulting in that loss of airway. Since the new trach placement is very difficult to reinsert because it takes time to heal. So we must check tightness of the ties to prevent that lost airway. That's always the number one priority. So don't let the NCLEX trick you here. Priority is always airway. Not performing mouth care to prevent infection and not doing a dressing change on this new trach or changing the inner cannula. Many students get this wrong. So please write it down. Checking tightness of the ties means maintaining the airway here. Okay, now what happens if the tracheostomy does get dislodged or pops out? Let's say you're going to check on your patient and you find the trach tube sitting on the bed. Oh, snap! Well, now we have a loss of airway from a closed stoma and the patient's gasping for air. This, my friends, is a medical emergency. So what's your first action? Well, we need to secure that airway, right? So listen close here. For a mature tracheostomy, seven days or more, we insert the new tracheostomy tube using a curved hemostat. But technically, we should always have an arbitrator at the bedside used to reinsert. And number two is we cover the stoma with a sterile occlusive dressing and ventilate the lungs by using a bag valve mask over the nose and mouth. Now those two steps love to show up on the NCLEX since this is a life-saving intervention here. Now, let's just say it's a new tracheostomy, less than seven days. Looking to cut your study time in half? Head on over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube. You can sign up for free and get access to all of this.